Hello friends, welcome to my channel GoDigit. Today, in this video, we will learn about how to copy the production environment and how to restore the production environment from the available backups. So all these two features which I am telling you are available only uh, through the admin center. So when you open the business central web client, and if you go to the settings icon, you can click on the admin center and it will open this admin center environment for you. Although uh, it is not possible like for every user who have the access of this admin center. The access of this admin centers are limited for the, uh, for the internal users or for the delegated users, right? I will tell you about like uh, from the internal users perspective that uh, what kind of a permission a user require to to have an access of this admin center first so uh, the thing is the user uh, must be uh, either a global administrator or the user should have the dynamics 365 administrator rights so all these rights uh, uh, user can uh, have or user can see from the portal azure portal itself so for example, if I open the Azure portal and go to the Azure Active Directory or the new name of the Azure Active Directory is the Microsoft Enter ID. Okay, where from where you can access, uh, manage the access, set smart policies and enhance the security. Okay, so click on the view. So here if you go to the users, so here you can see that uh, it has the list of all the users which are a part of that uh, active directory of the customer right so this is my user through which i have logged in my business central account and i have uh, the access of the admin center so if you uh, if you open it or go to the user card okay and then uh, i can go to the assigned roles so here you can see that there are two roles which are available uh, for this user one is the global administrator and second one is this dynamics 365 administrator so although these two rights uh, if you assign either of the uh, one of the roles to the user then this admin center access will be available for that user right although uh, if you assign this for example then you can access as it is mentioned in the description that you can access all the Dynamics 365 products admin centers and you can manage them. However, if you assign the global administrator, then it is not limited to the uh, Dynamics 365 suits, but also uh, available uh, the admin center access of other features or other products as well. Along with that, you can assign the licenses, you can create the user, you can assign the users to the respective license and so on. Right, so these two rights are really, really important uh, if you really want to have an access on the admin center part. Also, uh, right, if you see uh, from here the license section, you can see that uh, for this user, uh, these license are assigned. However, uh, uh, from the company perspective and not from the user perspective, you can again go to the home section and in the Azure Active Directory or the Microsoft Enter ID section, you can go to the licenses and click on the all products. So it will give you the list of all the licenses which your, uh, which your organization owns also along with the count of the licenses, right? So it will tell you that how much licenses are still available for a particular suits. Right. So, for example, in the business center, you can see that uh, out of this 10,000, only two are assigned and still these are available. Let me click on it. And you can see that currently the, the license is available or assigned to only the two users. If I want, because I have the rights of the global administrator, so I can assign this uh, new licenses to the new users as well. Okay. One thing I would like to tell you here is that if you are assigned as a global administrator user, then even though the, the license of the business central is not, not assigned to you, then also you can access 
this web client business central as well you can access this admin center as well however uh, web client of business central is available uh, for you with the read rights only and not for the uh, right access right so you must have signed the license in case you want your global administrator to 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 write some transactions also in the database otherwise from the reading perspective uh, you don't need to assign the license to the global administrator user okay so now let's go to the admin center and here uh, uh, in the coming videos we will learn about the other features as well in detail but uh, starting from today uh, we will learn about uh, the two uh, two things which are very very important from the uh, from the working perspective and that thing is that for example if I click on the production environment right production environment is something as we all know that uh, it, it it is an environment of the customer real data where uh, users every day put uh, the company's transactions into it and we don't we want this environment to be always healthy to be always available and we don't want any damage to this environment right so uh, if we want to have an access of this environment to for various purposes like for debugging to to play and test with the data available here to find out certain issues and to 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 give certain to add certain new features with proper testing so we want uh, to have an access of this production environment but obviously as i said you cannot uh, do anything anything wrong in it so for this things we want that uh, the similar copy of this production environment should be available for us right so to do that uh, what we can do is that if you open this environment card you can find that these features are available like copy environment and the restore environment right although these two buttons are uh, having a different use so we will learn about the use of each function one by one. So what I can do is that uh, first of all, if you click on this copy environment, what it will do. So it is saying that when you copy an environment that integrates with other services, make sure that you avoid any interference with the production data, right? So uh, the thing is that in our production environment, uh, we, we have certain integrations connections as well where we are taking some data from the other systems or we are pushing the data from the business central to the other systems right so uh, for the time being we should uh, we should hold them or we should uh, not uh, we should see that all those automations work all those integration work should not be in a in a in a scheduled way or in a starting uh, starting uh, way because uh, if it if that's so because uh, it will create the copy of the production environment so it will have all those same connections uh, in it and thus uh, there could be a high risk that when the your new copy environment uh, uh, becomes up and ready for use then those integration connections will also be available and uh, the, the real data from the other systems will rather than copy into the production environment uh, gets copy in your test environment right which you don't want so uh, close all those connections first before you use this uh, copy environment feature right so now you just have to uh, type like uh, let's say uh, uh, I can like let's say today is 28 uh, so I can write Jan 28 brought copy right like this now uh, you can see that new environment type is production so uh, because I already own one production environment and thus I cannot create a second production environment although if you really want two production environments to be available for you then you have to buy uh, that from the Microsoft separately so uh, for the time being because I want this from a testing perspective so I can select the sandbox and then I can click on copy so what it will do it will create the copy uh, create a new sandbox environment for me with the exact replica or with the exact copy of my current production environment right it will have all the data which are available till today till this time right you just have to click on copy and it will start 
creating an environment for you. Once this function uh, completes its work, you will see that that new environment will be available for you in the list, right? Just like this prod copy environment, which I created yesterday are, is actually available for me to access, right? Now, after the copy environment function, let's understand the second function, which is a restore environment, right? So what we can do is that if you click on the restore, So now uh, you can see that uh, it is a slightly different from the copy environment, although the, the basic use case is also similar to the copy environment feature only. But uh, the first field, uh, if you see here, it's showing that backups are available from your current time zone. And if you click on it here, it will say that the environment can be restored to a maximum of 28 days back in time. Right. So that means that uh, because we all know that if you are using a business central online SaaS environment, then Microsoft manage all your backups uh, things in the Azure SQL databases. So this database, this uh, environment, this data, which is available in the Azure SQL databases of Microsoft systems. Uh, right. So Microsoft is maintaining all your backups. And what Microsoft is saying here, what this feature is saying here that uh, the copies of your production environments are available from 31st of December. So today is 28th of January and it is available till uh, from 31st of uh, December. So there's a huge time, right? 28 days is, is, a, is a really good time that Microsoft is maintaining all your backups. Along with the date, uh, they are saying that from five, uh, AM, right? 5.44 AM, uh, your backups are available. So if you want certain backup of 5 AM or let's say 30th of December, then that is not available. But if you want any backup uh, after this time, you can easily restore that. Okay. So certain in certain situations, we want that I want the backup of that particular date where I use it I wrongly put that transactions and I want to see that or a user wrongly post that I want just want to test that thing. So all those things we can uh, utilize we, via this feature. We can work on those things through this feature, right? So uh, now uh, let's say select the date to restore to. So you can see that if I go to the December uh, from 31st only it is available and the other dates are not available for me. So let's say I want the backup of 1st of January. Okay. So now uh, after that, I have to select the time that if any particular uh, from any particular time, I want uh, my data to be available, my the database of that particular time I want. So yes, I can select any any particular time from that date, right? That uh, maybe from 9.51 or from 10, let's say uh, from from uh, 10, uh, just a second. Okay, so yeah, from 10 a.m. I want this, uh, or the, the database, the production environment database of 1st January uh, and of 10 a.m. I want that data to be available. I want the database to be available for me, right? Now, uh, the restore to the uh, production, restore to environment type is production SPS. Yes. The number of production environment will exceed the quota, delete the extra production environment as soon as you have verified that it is no longer needed, right? So I can select that sandbox because I want uh, an, an environment for testing perspective. So I will select the sandbox here. Then uh, I can type the name like backup, zero first Jan, prod backup, like this, right? Uh, now, if you want to see the advanced options, you can see, although uh, there is, uh, it is totally depends on you, like what type of things you, you want to, uh, you want in your uh, newly created backup environment, okay? After that, uh, if you click on restore, it will start uh, creating uh, a new sandbox environment for you of that 1st of January. 
if I click at my level, it will not run because I am running a free copy of the online SAS. The only condition which is apply to, to this uh, restore feature is that you should be running a paid business central online environment, right? So you can see the error that Microsoft Enter Tenant does not have any business central service plans, right? So you cannot use this feature until and unless you are running a paid business central environment. Okay. So apart from that, uh, if you if you are having a paid environment, which I believe you have because you are working for the customers, right? So in that sense, you can easily work and try to restore the environment from the past 28 days based on whatever your requirement is, right? So this is uh, all which I wanted to share in the today's video about the copy environment and the restore environment feature. In the next part of the video, we will learn certain things about uh, certain new things about the admin center as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel.